Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my stream. Uh, today, we are going to be playing with uh, some new thermal cameras. So we are still uh, upgrading our, our overhead thermal camera. But in the meantime, we have some of these Raytheon cores to play with. Uh, these are known as the Raytheon Thermal I 3500AS. Uh, they are 30 hertz, and they are about, uh, let's see, what is the resolution on these things? I believe they are, let's see, what does it say? It says they are 160 by 120 pixels at 30 hertz, so they are at real time. Um, and they are effective up to, I believe with the lens we have on here, they are effective up to 100 meters or 330 feet. So, um, we are going to plug these in to our, actually what we're going to do is we are basically going to combine these using this box. So this box is the EV-CQ204. And what that is, is this is basically a security camera combiner. Um, so this will allow us to take two uh, video feeds and make them one video feed. And then we are going to pipe it into our computer using this old school analog digitizer. Um, so what we want to do is basically we are, we're, we're setting this up for a stereo vision, uh, machine vision project uh, where I want to have thermal, a thermal depth camera so what we need is we need two simultaneous images captured side by side and then we are going to run those through OpenCV and do our magic but before we can even run this through OpenCV we need to get our image into our system. Uh, I was doing a version of this a while ago where we had two digitizers and we just digitized the signals independently uh, and that, that works but I had the bright idea of what if we used a security system uh, multiplexer and combine those together before we even digitize it. So instead of uh, wasting USB bus space on two analog captures, what if we just capture one image at the same time um, using this sucker? So I'm going to grab uh, the remote controller for it. One second. It's got a remote controller, and uh, well, I guess the first thing we should do probably is plug this into our computer and make sure that it even works. So uh, before we do that, we're going to plug in our video connector. This is what is our video connector? Our video connector here is the it's a generic USB two. UVC uh, capture card. And it looks like it's got a little CD-ROM drive here. Uh, let's see. Easy cap. It doesn't say what the name of the camera is. It's it's just a generic USB camera. USB uh, analog cap. Oh, here we go. It is uh, for your pleasure at home. It is the. VHS to DVD digital video computer capture by the barcode uh, of X001XM9R1D. Uh, so I'll put that in the information. Uh, so we're going to plug this into our computer uh, to a USB 2 port. Actually, we're plugging in the USB 3, but it's going to default back to USB 2 because it is only a USB 2 device. Okay, so then we got that there. Uh, and now we also need to give this thing some power. It takes a 12 volt, one amp uh, input. And it looks like everything out on this is going to be uh, BNC. So we're gonna need to convert that. So we got our little converters for here. 
we're going to need to convert that into RCA so we can get that into our computer. So let's uh, first let's see if we can turn on this uh, video in. So we're going to capture your device. We're going to call it VHS. Let's call it VHS. Oh, okay. So it looks like we have something. We have we don't have any any video coming in, so it doesn't look like it's going to give us anything. But we're going to hope that that's actually going to work. So um, let's let's get some power. Let's get some power here. This uh, this thing came with a a brick, and the brick here is 12 volts and 2 amps. So it's going to supply more power than this thing needs. So let's get this um, done. And let's plug it into some of our bench power. Okay, we got some power. Plugged it in. Let's see if it's got some lights. Oh, okay, it's got a light. That's good. That looks like a good sign. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this BNC converter, put that in the back here. We're going to plug it into, plug in the monitor out. Let's see what monitor out does. I'm assuming monitor out is probably going to give us uh, an overlay while the VHSL is not going to. So we got some cables here, so we're just going to take this cable off to the side. Got ourselves this cable. The color doesn't matter, so we're just going to plug this into here. And we're going to plug this, well it does matter on this side, we got to plug it into yellow, because yellow is video in. Or yellow is video. So now let's turn on our new capture device and see if we have an image. It's looking like it doesn't want to give us an image. And that is interesting. not giving us an image there. What we are going to try and do next is we are going to just open up our video uh, tool, our utility here, which is, you can't see it on your screen, but I'm opening up QTV4L2 test utility. Uh, and I'm going to just open up this new device. I'm going to press play on my desktop. And it looks like we have something. No, I can't. I can't tell if I have anything. Let me turn it off. Turn it on. Nothing there. Uh, so now we are going to try something else. We're going to stop that. Let's, um, well, what we should do is we should plug this into something that we know actually gives us a video out. So we're going to grab our, <laughs> use this a few days ago. This is our analog wireless cam. So this thing always works. Got a little analog camera. Ah, 9 volt power. Grab that 9 volt power out. Side, ah, not weighted very well. Okay, so we're gonna plug in our nine volt brick. Make sure we get some power here. All right, that's got some power, and we're gonna give our camera here some power. And we are going to unplug it from here, or plug it into here. And we are going to open up our video input again. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, do that in our, our test bench. Okay. So here we go, opening up. Oh, we got nothing there. I 
question is why are we not getting any video input on this device? Well, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to put that up in. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay, so we have our terminal and let's see if we can get anything. Let's suppose our D message say not enough bandwidth for new device. Okay. So that means that it doesn't like the amount of USB things that we have running on this USB port. So let's plug it, unplug it, and plug it back in. I just removed, um, let's move that. I'm going to remove one of our cameras. So let's see if that feels better. So we're removing our oscilloscope camera. And we are plugging this back in. We're going to see. Okay, it found it. We have it right here. So, what we're going to do again is we're going to see if we can just open this thing up. We're going to see if it gives us the same error. That didn't work. Yeah, not enough bandwidth. Okay, um, so that's sad. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can mess with some settings to check it to make it a little bit less resource heavy. Ah, <sighs> not enough bandwidth. Well, let's. That's just silly. Um, so, how else can we do this? We don't have enough bandwidth for this little device. It doesn't it doesn't like this little device? So let's see if we have some more toys or tools, as I might, in my uh, collection. So hold on one second. Hold that thought while I check my storage and see what I can find. I'm thinking there's got to be a creative way to do this. Uh, the question is, how? So hold that thought.
I really need right now is a HDMI converter. So let me see if I have one. Well, that didn't work, so today has just been one of those days where I can't find the part that I need. Uh, maybe it's in that box. something that goes the wrong direction. I was so ready for this, but I guess I'm not. Ah, <sighs> where would I be if I was an HDMI? I know I have an SDI and HDMI, a stand up uh, converter here somewhere. Um, but we're going to try looking one more place. Sorry about the delay, folks.
So I found it, but it's glued to the back of a monitor. So that really doesn't help us. So we're going to plug this other one in. We have this one. We're going to see what it does. See if it also eats all of our buffer. So hold on one second here. I try and plug this in. Let's see what our D message says. It says that it found it. Let's see if we can register it with our test here. And we don't see it as a input device. Wonderful. This is going exactly how I was hoping it would. And uh, that's, that is complete sarcasm. Um, so, how are we going to get a signal from this into our computer? It's a great question. We are going to see if we can free up some bandwidth on that, that port. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go on Amazon and we're going to get ourselves a converter to go from analog to HDMI. So let's plug this in first. This might be a shorter broadcast than I expected because we might not have all the things we need. Um, so next what we're going to do is we're going to unplug that. Okay. Those two things are unplugged. What else is over here that we can unplug that we're not utilizing? I think that might be it. So let's see if that has given us enough bandwidth. Let's knock this down. Not enough bandwidth. Probably close the resolution down a bit more. Not a bandwidth. Well, that's just fun, isn't it? It's amazing that there is not enough bandwidth for this thing. It's just standard definition video, it's just not being compressed at all. And uh, it seems like it is hungry for that USB port to be completely at its uh, beck and call. The last thing we can do is try and plug, try and run a USB extender cable from office out to this thing just for this project. Let's see what happens if we do that. What I feel like right now is I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka and I am telling the computer exactly what it can do with half a lifetime supply of chocolate. My favorite line I think in any film. There's a line in Willy Wonka when uh, 
they are using a supercomputer to try and find the last remaining bar of chocolate or last golden ticket and uh, that says that the computer will tell them where it is and the guy says the computer responds why should I tell you that would be cheating and uh, the guy says well I will gladly share with you a lifetime supply of chocolate if uh, you tell me where it is and the computer says why should I tell you that would be cheating and then the guy says I'm sorry, he says, why should I that be cheating? He says, I'm now telling the computer exactly what I can do with Half-Life. Ah, fuck it. I fucked that up. Anyway, we're trying this again. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. Um, so. Let's see. Oh, we froze this program. So, let's just... Open it up and uh, be there in OBS and see what happens. Hey, it looks like I looks like I'm getting something. The question is, what, if anything, am I getting? I should be seeing my camera. So I'm not sure why we're not getting a video signal now. We should be getting something in this black box. Turn that off again. I'm going to see if I can actually get say anything on my desktop. So let's see. If we do, we'll just capture that as our input. Didn't do it. It seems like it almost did it. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna unplug and plug it back in. Seems like we're getting some interesting error here. It says that UVNC not non-compliance. Get def probe not supported. Enable workaround. So. Entity type for entry press. Okay, why is it not doing anything? I feel like I need to tell it not to use the S video by default. And again, I could be wrong. So we are going to try and open it in. I'll see, see what that does, if anything. Didn't do anything. Let's, let's try video capture again. AV to USB.
not getting anything, even though we have this little box here. This is silly. Pure silliness. We're not getting the uh, the issue anymore with um, not enough bandwidth. All right, folks, we are going to abort this mission, and we are going to, uh, <laughs> apparently we are going to, in, we are going to get ourselves an HDMI converter that's going to take our analog and turn it into HDMI, and we're going to capture HDMI. So uh, thanks for checking in. Uh, I will be back in a few days once I get that converter. We will try this project again. Uh, Louis Silverstein signing off.